Hey there everyone, um, now I'm sure all of you guys out there have heard at least of the Oculus Rift or else, you know, why would you be watching this video? But basically the Oculus Rift is that super awesome VR headset that uh, was released by the Facebook owned company Oculus. Um, now I own one myself, it's absolutely an amazing system just like a lot of other people are saying. I absolutely love it, but here's the thing. I just felt like it was missing just a couple of things. Um, so I kind of sat out there and I found four accessories. That I think are an absolute must if you own really any VR headset out there, especially though the Oculus Rift, because that's what I have first-hand experience with. So from me to you, um, I'm just I have a list of a couple of accessories that super important to have. Four of them. Um, I'll put some links in the description, to you guys, just to link exactly to the ones that I have that honestly just work super well. So yeah, feel free to check those out. And uh, with all without further ado, you know, uh, let's hop right in. Now first things first, and I'm sure everyone's heard of it, um, are going to be the 3.0 extensions. Now I just went on Amazon, I grabbed a uh, pair of two of them that were 6 feet long, and so you hook these guys into your computer, and they just extend the 3.0 connections so that your Oculus sensors can reach anywhere in the room. Super awesome, I mean the ones that Oculus gives you are plenty long to set up a, a, a front facing experience, it can be more of a 180 degree instead of full room scale, but with the extensions, I was able to move my sensors over way way more into the sides of the room to actually let me reach down and turn around in my experience. It gets me a lot closer to a full room scale without having that third sensor. Um, so definitely a must. I definitely recommend grabbing those guys right away. Like I said, link in the description. Let's move on to number two. Number two isn't necessarily a necessity, but I thought it was absolutely awesome once I got it. Now this one is kind of that lens cover here. It's what puts kind of a barrier between your face and the mask itself. Now besides sanitary reasons, um, I think the thing is absolutely super awesome. So first off, it's actually pretty comfortable. You put that guy on there, um, it feels like a different kind of fabric that's touching your face. On top of that, with the Oculus, one of the main problems I had running into it was that my hair would always get stuck in that, uh, that kind of little foamy material that was there to cushion it and it would end up tickling my face so I'd always have to brush up my oculus in order to scratch my face well with this stuff that doesn't really happen so I think it's definitely a great accessory out there for anyone who's looking you know to spruce up their VR experience uh, now on to number three now number three, I didn't think it was a necessity at all until I actually tried it. This is some anti-fog spray, just like divers use on their goggles. So you spray a little bit of this on there and then you wipe it down with a microfiber cloth and oh my goodness, it's like a brand new system right there. Everything is extremely clear. You don't know how fogged up your machine actually is until you actually clear away some of that fog with some of the anti-fog spray. And kind of like what it does with diving goggles, it actually keeps it away for long periods of time. So yeah, I absolutely recommend this stuff. Like I said, link in the description. Um, if nothing else, grab uh, you know a little spray bottle. This stuff doesn't cost a lot. Just spray a little bit on there, one spray each, and then just wipe that stuff down and you're ready to roll. And last guys, but definitely not least, is going to be actually be a 3.0 USB hub. Now this has actually saved my kind of VR experience for the future, uh, for me definitely. So in the future I definitely want to get a, a third, you know, uh, Oculus sensor that would give me full room scale. I think that would be amazing. Um, but here's the thing, my PC actually only has three 3.0 USB slots. Um, it's a great PC, that's definitely its limitation. Now, as you guys probably know, the Oculus Rift takes up one and each sensor takes up another. So I'd be one short. Now, what I did, I went and grabbed a 3.0 USB slot or USB hub, hooked it right in there. It actually worked wonders. Um, it extends it out on there. Now I actually have them all just hooked right into the hub. Now if I grab a third sensor, I just hook it right in and I'm ready to roll. Definitely you guys out there who are kind of worried about not having enough ports on your machine in order to run an Oculus, go out and grab this guy. Or if you don't have enough ports just uh, to open up room for a third sensor, go and grab one of these out right away. They definitely work. I've used one right now with my Rift. Um, like I said, definitely save my, <laughs> my gaming experience with these guys. Link in the description, guys. Go ahead and check it out. So that kind of brings us to the end of our list here. Um, thanks so much for watching, guys. Like I said, I put links for all this stuff in the description as well as a couple extra for like the sensor and the Oculus Rift. I'm sure you guys know how to find it, though. These are all Amazon links, so pretty simple stuff. Um, yeah, just I would rec definitely recommend going and grabbing these accessories. They definitely help my VR experience. Totally up to you, though. You know, I try to make this video just kind of short and precise, right to the point. Um, thanks for taking the time to watch it, guys. I'll kind of keep an eye out for you, you know, returning viewers, stuff like that. Thanks for taking the time. Um, you know, I'll let you guys get back to your gaming experience on the Rift. I know that's what everyone's kind of hankering to do. So absolutely, guys, I'm just going to head off right now here and you guys have a great night.